First, we had Sugar Sean O'Malley call out Javante Tank Davis. And now it's looking like Sugar Sean O'Malley and Ryan Garcia get into a little bit of a back and forth here on Twitter. So, of course, after Sean made that statement about Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia puts out this tweet saying, Sugar Sean, you're good and all, but stop talking about this. I'm going to box stuff. You're just getting knocked out. And then, of course, people in the comments, they always got to violate. My God, they always got to violate. Payday, yep. Yeah, that's facts. Jake Paul's next opponent, maybe. All right, and then Sean O'Malley replied with probably the best comeback of the century. Sean O'Malley retweets saying, like, you did or different. <laughs> to which Ryan Garcia just had to respond, boxing MMA are two different sports, and if you need a reminder, let me know. I'll gladly do a tune-up for my return fight. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was such a good comeback from Sugar Sean O'Malley. Brian Garcia, I had to respond from that because that was just, wow. Um, hold on, let's look at Sean O'Malley's tweet. Let's see, I, I want to see the comments on that. Imagine taking advice from this quitter, man. It, 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 this guy has never taken a liver shot. I'll just say that. He's never taken a liver shot. So uh, it looks like a lot, of, a lot of mixed replies from people on Twitter. Some people thinking, you know, like this guy saying Sean would sleep Garcia. Uh, people thinking Ryan Garcia trying to stay relevant. Ryan Garcia is always going to be relevant. At the end of the day now, he's a huge name. Oh, I see here, someone said, why the sudden switch up talking about Ryan Garcia? Because he was talking about how lit uh, Sean O'Malley's knockout was that he had on Saturday over Aljamain Sterling. Um, he's been calling me out. Wants to knock out boxers like how he fights, but he's tripping. Uh, yeah, possibly. I mean, like I said, I agree. I mean, if you watched my, my video before, where I, uh, Sean O'Malley calls out Javante Davis, I did say that you know, I, I do think that he is tripping a little bit because a big game plan of Sean O'Malley's stand-up is his kicks, which, you know, he's not going to be able to do. Didn't you get KO'd? Boxing is not even fighting, bud, but it's a different sport. It's a different sport. It's like you can't compare. It's like comparing football and baseball. It's just two completely different sports. And boxing, in my opinion, boxing is fighting. It's just like a, it's like fighting, but almost like as if you did a gentleman's agreement just to throw punches. <laughs> Is it a real, real fight? No, but neither is MMA. This person says, Ryan would sleep sugar in the ring. That's not a question. O'Malley is first class MMA striker. Does this mean world class? That's undisputed, but boxing is different breed. Uh, I think he means world class MMA striker, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he is correct. I, I don't think, I don't know. I think an O'Malley versus Ryan Garcia fight would be much more interesting, in my opinion, than a... O'Malley and Javante Tank Davis fight. All right, y'all, of course, let me know what you think down below. Do you think Ryan Garcia, if he fought Sean O'Malley, I, do, I don't think Sean O'Malley's gonna make it, honestly. I think if Sean O'Malley defends the title uh, against someone like Marab, I think Sean probably will lose it. So I don't think Sean O'Malley will make it there, but if he does, by some miracle, by some crazy odds, if Sugar Sean O'Malley can make it to a boxing ring and either take on Ryan Garcia or Javante Tank Davis, who would you rather see Sean O'Malley fight? In my opinion, the Ryan Garcia fight is much more of an even fight for Sugar Sean O'Malley. I think Javante Tank Davis just has too much power, and I think he's his boxing IQ and skill is going to be too much. Whereas Ryan Garcia, he kind of leans a little bit too heavy on that left hook, and he doesn't really have the footwork like he should. As you saw from that Tank fight, he kind of just stands there, and he, he relies on that left hook a little bit too much, which... You know, if you've seen the tactician behind Sean O'Malley with that pull right hand, and there's videos of him constantly practicing it, but for leading up to the Aljamain Sterling fight, you know him and Tim Welch will definitely come up with some strategy to counter that left hook of Ryan Garcia because he does rely on it big time in his fights. So y'all let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think it, Sean O'Malley has a better chance of Ryan Garcia or Javante Tank Davis? And should Sean O'Malley fight either guy, do you think he has a chance? But I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. And I'll catch you in the next video.